Reiner, owner Craig Booher, and chef Devin Otto. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Good to see you guys. You guys are kind of like legends. You know? Oh, wow. Since you've opened. <laughs> what, you, what year did you open? Uh, 2022, January 4th. Okay. So we're coming up on three years here. That's amazing. One thing I wanted to ask you, you know, I know you're a retired teacher mm -hmm. and um, the restaurant business has been so awesome for you guys. Do you wish you got out of teaching earlier to, to start the restaurant? Um, no, I wish, I wish. Here's the problem with life. I, I wish I could have kept teaching. Really? Even though I love doing this. Yeah. So I taught history. And uh, one of the things you realize is uh, you only have so much time in life to do things. And I'm realizing I'm going to get old and stop. And I'll still have a lot of things I still want to do. Yeah. So mm -hmm. actually, it's pretty cool. That's cool. I was very blessed. Teaching was wonderful. Yeah. If I lived 200 years, I could have done that a little bit longer. Yeah. But this restaurant business is phenomenal, too, and I love that. So I think people should just appreciate you have seasons in life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of times people are always in the middle of something looking to the next thing. It's like, just do the thing you're doing right now. That's good you know, enjoy it and work hard because the next thing's coming up and you don't always get a chance to go back. You, know? so. you guys have a really uh, cool menu. One thing I like about it is nice and tight. You know, there's, mm -hmm. you've, got, uh, you, you've got a handle on some excellent things. You do them really well and there's something for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's got to be challenging uh, to, to be able to pull that off. What would you say, Devin, like from the standpoint of the chef, wh what's the thinking behind a menu like that? Um, we just found a lane and I think we had kind of an idea when we started was home cooking was kind mm -hmm. of like a big thing and just keeping things simple and good and just, uh, just something easy to just pick up, you know, yeah. and, and we never tried to be too go too far, do yeah. anything too fancy. And I think that's, it's an easy thing to keep For maintaining. Sure. And there's so many things that you can just pull and make a good, simple version of it. And, and people like that, you know, yeah. a lot of times, like you just want something good that right. is dependable and affordable and mm -hmm. you can share with your family. Like, so Italian food's perfect. I mean, yeah. that was kind of Craig's thing when we right. first opened up. I, I didn't even really know how to cook that well. Like that was, mm -hmm. Craig pretty much came up with the menu and it's worked out. Mm -hmm. It's a good. Uh, it's a good lane, I think, for us. One of your uh, most famous dishes here. Yeah, the burger. The yeah. burger is <laughs> iconic. Um, talk a, talk a little bit about what what your favorite thing to uh, to make is. I know you. I know you have a, a ton of. You have a ton of lunch customers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're a lunchy mm -hmm. spot, and I think probably my favorite thing is burgers. I like making burgers. They're just fun and fast and. You know, you can kind of screw them up in a couple of seconds, so you get just like what's you just get gratification, instant yeah. gratification, forty-five seconds. So, I think I like making those the yeah. best. You know, it's. Um, I know people like eating them. That's for sure from uh, yeah. the folks I talk to. So, yeah. awesome French fries too. Mm -hmm. They Thanks, are yeah. very unique mm -hmm. because they're uh, they're fresh cut mm -hmm. and twice fried, and they go good with uh, everything on the menu. Nice. What's uh, what's on the menu this week that people should try? This week we're doing beef stroganoff Ooh. on Friday tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, that sounds good with mashed potatoes. Is it going to be like my aunt Liz's beef stroganoff? I Probably. Hope, I hope it's better than your aunt Liz's <laughs> stroganoff. <laughs> I don't know what hers is like. Is it? Is it? it was with ground beef, ground beef and rice. But I think when you said mashed potatoes, that's probably better. Yeah. Well, we have you know, we have like a egg noodles too, and we have like a, a mushroom gravy mm -hmm. with sour cream with steak. So it's a lot different than ground beef. Yeah, that's good. I'll, marinate it. I'll be marinating the steak actually after the interview. Mm. So, my favorite is the spaghetti meatballs. Mm -hmm. I I love it. I think they're great. Mm -hmm. And you're right, the Italian, and and you wouldn't realize from looking at the restaurant that it's an Italian restaurant or from the name, mm -hmm. but you really do. You mm -hmm. you really hit it um, on, on the head with the, the Italian uh, yep. menu items. Yeah, that's the food I grew up with. Mm -hmm. You know, when I lived in the Detroit area in Redford, everyone there was pretty much Greek, Italian, and Polish. And uh, when I moved out here, there wasn't as many Italians, and I was suffering because I love food. Yeah. <laughs> and so I go back home, and all my buddies, their moms and grandmas, hey, you got to show me how to make this stuff. Yeah. So, like the spaghetti meatballs, a little four foot eleven grandma yeah. from Sicily, 
you know, she's like 80 years old. She's shown me how to roll the meatballs and how to do it. So really, I've just been doing what I learned then That's cool. for the last 30 years. So. All, uh, a lot of people are back in there in somewhat of a routine now that kids are back in school. Um, great place to stop and, and get a wonderful uh, dinner to take home, mm -hmm. uh, especially for those like me who, who can't cook. Um, but you can just <laughs> plate it up and, and just have a wonderful meal. It's a great place to get to go to, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a to-go set up more yeah. than anything. It's a small spot. Um, we're adding on in the parking lot pretty soon, so there'll be more room for cars, and um, hopefully eventually we'll get some more seating in the restaurant. But, well, I mean, most of the time, like you said, people are going home. They mm -hmm. just picked up their kids. We're a neighborhood spot. Like, yeah. anywhere around there, there's always families coming through. So, uh, the uh, I think one of the other... Um, items that you're famous for is the pies, mm -hmm. uh, your desserts. They're, you make them, they're fresh, they're, sure. they're awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, realizing sometimes too much of a good thing almost. You know, <laughs> uh, you know, people are like, you should do this and this and this. It's like, whoa, just doing this is more than enough mm -hmm. to keep me busy. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's nice. But once you get your system down, you just realize, look, you're going to need to it's funny because sometimes you'll bake enough pies and you're like, gosh, mm -hmm. this is a lot of pies. And you'll come to the case the next yeah. day and you're like, oh, got to make more pies. Devin, how do you do it? Do you eat throughout the day or do you wait until the end and make something to take home? Or what I usually you? eat throughout the day. <laughs> I'm always just grabbing a little. Yep. It's deadly, honestly. I need to figure <laughs> that out yeah. since we've opened. I'd yeah. be the same one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so probably by the time you, you leave work, you're full for the day. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> you can't, I can't remember a meal, really. They just kind of like happen. That's funny. <laughs> you're a fresh market, too, and there's some fresh things going on. Yep. Uh, I think you've got some flowers. Yeah, the flowers are kind of winding down right now. They're uh, going to kick back up here in a few weeks because all the mums coming in. And Salosha. Uh, right now we have vegetables. Oh, nice. uh, we partner with Prelips. Uh, they have a spot in Brooklyn, but they used to come to the Jackson yeah. uh, market all the time, and it just was too much for them. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of their Jackson outlet there for, for vegetables from Prelips with corn, and the cantaloupes are very popular. Mm. And then in a few more weeks, when the mums come in, we'll have our, their pumpkins for Halloween and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's still a thing. And uh, people when, like that quite a bit. When someone comes in um, and they say, What do you recommend? What's the answer you give them? I usually tell people to get a burger and some mozzarella sticks if it's your first time in a piece of pie. That's kind of yeah. like you get all the bases covered. Mm -hmm. Get some Italian. The mozzarella sticks we make in-house, like they're not, well, we freeze them for, sure. we need to, but uh, they're, they're not like processed, pre-made. Sounds good. You well, know your awesome. grandson, Jim, it's his favorite food is mozzarella sticks. Oh, so. they're awesome. You know, I have a lot of friends and family members that are very troubled um, by my practice of ordering a side of fries with spaghetti and meatballs. Am I the only one that does that? That does happen too often, but I don't think there's anything wrong with it. No, I would highly just, encourage a, it. Carbs a, on top of carbs is a good thing. It's yeah, a I think they, yeah. go, they go together. <laughs> yeah. You do order, you do that. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. I just, <laughs> I think it's something that happened when, uh, uh, Bove's restaurant in Burlington when we grew up we would get you know spaghetti and their the same fries mm -hmm. would be there and they're sure. all, yeah they just you sure go. that wasn't the Wendy's super bar <laughs> 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 no they just uh, they go they mm -hmm. don't they yeah yes. yeah we're uh, constantly getting things requests and stuff yeah. and honestly is if people enjoy it we just want to make sure they're happy so if they you know, it's a good Jackson thing. Everyone yeah. wants vinegar on their fries. It's like, I have mm -hmm. a problem with that. Well, we love to eat in Jackson, and you guys have uh, st certainly been an awesome addition since 2022. Mm -hmm. Have it's we said exactly where they is. are? No. No. People are, they're going to wonder. The, where, where are yeah. they? Yeah. Uh, they're on uh, M50. That's right. Just, uh, just outside of Vandercook. Yep, just outside of Vandercook, past the old general materials. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. <laughs> And uh, you can't miss it because uh, the parking lot's always full. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully not as full once we get it expanded. Right? Yeah. yeah, that's great. So uh, what are your days and hours? Uh, we're open from Monday through Saturday, 11 o'clock till 8. And uh, if you're there before 8, we're ready to give you food. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Great to see you both. Yeah, good Thanks, for you. Yeah, thank, thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. From Booher's Fresh Market and Diner Craig Booher and Devin Otto. We uh, wrap things up after this.